Hey everyone, this is part four of my series, Alternative Tools to some of the popular Linux commands. And in this video, we explore the DUF command, which is a better replacement or alternative to the DF command. Now, before we get to exploring DUF command, let's first of all have a brief overview of the DF command. Now, DF command is short for disk free, and this is a command native to Linux, which is used to display information about total and available space on a file system. And to demonstrate this, you can run the df command without any command line options. And this is what you get. Okay, so obviously this is not quite readable. So you can pass the hyphen th option to provide this information in a more human readable format and hit enter. So as you can see, the disk sizes or the file system sizes have been formatted in a human readable format. So for example, you can see this file system here is of ext4 type, okay? So the total disk size is 43 gigabytes and only 14 gigabytes have been used. Uh, here, I have 28 gigabytes available. So this is the percentage usage, okay? And this file system has been mounted on root Okay, so here you can see we have slash dev slash sda1 file system, which is of ext4 type. Okay, the total size is 1.8 gigabytes and only 293 megabytes have been used. And this gives us 1.5 gigabytes uh, remaining. So the usage percentage is only 14, is only 17%. And this has been mounted on the boot partition. Okay. Now, what if I told you that you can present this information in a much better human readable format, okay? And this is where the DUF command comes in. So DUF is a command line tool that is written in Go programming language, and it pretty much displays information about uh, total and available space on various file systems and mount points, but it provides better features such as color formatting and formatting the output in a tabular format. So you can head over to your browser and search for DUF command and you can go to the GitHub page for more documentation. So here I am at the GitHub page and as you can see this is a screenshot of the output you get once you run the DUF command. So here are some of the features. Uh, it's user friendly and provides information in a colorful output as you have seen and it adjusts your terminals theme and width so you can read over the features. Okay, so here in this section, you can see the installation instructions. So you can read on. So here you get the usage examples and so on and so forth. Okay, so now let's have a view, I have an overview of the DUF command. Okay, so to start off, let's first of all install DUF. So if you try running DUF without any command line options, the first time you see df is not found and you can install it using this command and that is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to run the command sudo apt install df okay and hit enter and I'm going to authenticate okay so this should install doof in a matter of few seconds and there you go okay now to run doof or duf simply run the command duf okay like that and hit enter so let me first of all increase this terminal size here so hit enter and this is what you get so as you can see this is quite a better way of representing the disk uh, usage statistics on your system so as you can see this presents the information in a tabular format with some color coding okay so as you can see here you can see the root uh, mount point and you can see the size, the amount of disk space used, the available disk space. And here you can see the percentage usage in a ASCII format and you can see the file system type. Okay. And, and you can agree with me. This is quite a, a much better way of viewing your file systems and mount points. Okay. So here, these are the main uh mount points and these are the special devices okay okay now let's take other a look at other examples so now you can also display all the file systems including the special and the pseudo file systems by passing the 
hyphen all tag here okay so this will display all the file systems including the pseudo file systems and the special ones so here i'm going to hit enter and this displays a flurry of multiple file systems okay so as you can see we have additional file systems okay so that's it so here you can see uh, apart from the normal file systems you can see others okay so you can scroll down all right so as you can see most of them are in slash dev slash proc uh, slash run and uh, slash sys file systems okay and here you can also see slash snap okay directories all right okay so now let's go back to our default output okay so from here you can perform additional operations okay so for example you can display disk usage for specific mount points okay so for example if you only want to display the root file system uh, simply type duf followed by the file system mount point so in this case root and this is what you get okay so here you can you see statistics or information about the disk usage for the root file system okay you can also display multiple uh, mount points or file systems so here we have root then space i want also to display a uh, boot boot here space then home like that and hit enter okay so as you can see this has displayed root boot and home disk usage all right so remember to separate the mount points using a space okay also you can display inodes so you can run duf inodes like that and hit enter so as you can see now we have a column for inodes as you can see here all right now duf also allows you to sort uh, the file systems or the mount points according to the size in ascending order okay so you can do that by running duf then using the sort flag like that so let's for example say you want to sort according to let's say size you can say sort then provide size like that okay so as you can see now the sizes have been sorted in ascending order okay so we have the smallest size which is the boot partition here then followed by root then followed by slash home okay all right so you can also sort according to the used space okay so here i'm going to specify used all right and once again this is going to sort in ascending order so as you can see here this is what you get for the special devices also it has sorted from 2.8 right through to 500 um sorry you can see here it's it has sorted from zero all the way to 1.6 megabytes all right you can also say you can also sort according to the available space so you can use the avail option so as you can see here we have from 1.4 gigabytes to 149.7 gigabytes okay and you can see more options by running duf with the help option so this will give you the sort flags okay so for example here you can see you can scroll down and see the sorting options okay so you can see you can sort output by mount point size uh, used avail flags usage and so on and so forth okay also display specific columns okay so for example you can say duf then provide the output flag like that then specify the columns you want to display for example you can say mount point size sorry size and usage and hit enter 
okay so as you can see this only displays the mount point the size and the usage and you can compare this with DUF without any options so without any options it's going to, to display all the columns okay so with the hyphen output flag you're going to filter or display the columns that you want okay all right so the other thing you can do you can display the output in json format so you can do doof then json like that so this will display all the information in json format okay also you can save the information in a file so for example you can say doof then use the redirection operator then save to a file let's say my output dot txt so this is going to save the information in a text file called my output dot txt like that so we can preview this using the cut command and this is what you get okay so that's it guys as far as duf is concerned you can head over to the github page for more command line usage and options all right so as you can see duf is quite a handy tool and it's more user friendly than the traditional duf command and it provides a variety of usage and output options to display what you want okay so that's it guys for this lecture see you in the next video